tonight. <laughs> Kev, here's something you hate to see. Oh, gosh. Weight Watchers demonstrator shoplifts cupcakes. Oh, <laughs> Here's the kind of story I like. Look at this. Dog saves owner's life after cat starts fire. Yeah! Yeah! Man's best friend. Thank you, dog. You know something? As you know, Senator Kennedy is supporting Barack Obama. All right. Okay, and that's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. Pick your candidates. But if, when you support Barack Obama, you don't want to stand too close to the Barack Obama sign. Okay. Because it looks like you're wearing earrings. See? <laughs> It's like, just, just one of those political things you have to be careful. Here you go. Postal chief says faster mail delivery to take at least a year. Well. <laughs> Pet therapy aid seniors. Lajana Gillespie, a bedridden pres uh, resident at Christian Healthcare, says she enjoys visits from the ball python snake. Really? Does that woman like she's... <laughs> She looks like she's enjoying the visit from the snake. Uh, Sandra Bullock, husband un, uh, unhurt in crash. You may have heard of this. Sandra Bullock, the beautiful actress, and Jesse James, they were back east right. in Gloucester, Massachusetts, uh, got in a car accident and someone hit them. Now, luckily, nobody was hurt, and you know how beautiful Sandra Bullock is. Oh, yeah. This is not the most flattering picture, I guess. There she is, right there. Kind of this, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bad accident, man. Yeah, bad accident. <laughs> That's a bad accident. That was rough. <laughs> this place is offered to vac uh, vaccinate your pet. It's just an unfortunate name. A pet vaccine is offered Saturday at You Kill Em. <laughs> oh, yes, it looks like Amy Whitehouse has some uh, recipe tips. Crack secret to a perfect appetizer. There you go. <laughs> Here's the head spa. Soothe yourself by yourself. The cap fits comfortably on any head and adjusts to accommodate different sizes. Patent design is lightweight, easy to use while at your office, at work, in your morning commute, or at meetings. And the nice thing is, no one will notice you're wearing this stupid hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is it, boss? What? <laughs> Thunder Alley. Oh, this, the, I like, the, the, where, the, the boss is having a bowling night for his employees. Everybody can come bowling. That's what I love. We hope you have a relaxing and fun time at this event. Please feel free to come even if you're a non-bowler. I like the second sentence. Your time will have to be made up before you leave on Friday or be used as vacation for this <laughs> event. So. Really, who wouldn't like to go bowling with the boss on your own vacation time? County Spelling Bee, postened one more time. <laughs> I guess this is a stained glass clock. Then you put your dog's picture in stained glass. I guess that's All what right. it is. If you'd like that, a lot of people do that. Just poorly worded headline, dog stained glass clocks. I don't know if I want a dog stained glass clock. Wow, here is something very valuable. I can't believe it's only $20. Look at this. Signed Darth Vader poster, $20. <laughs> wow. I mean, how hard is that to get? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Lynn Valley Elementary School is the whole deal. They're going on a field trip. Part of the morning will be spent searching for slugs in the forest. The children do not need to bring a snack that day. Thank you very much. So. This is interesting. Quiz. Which state has the most national parks? What would you say? Which state has the most national parks? Let's turn it over. Answer. Bananas. They eat a total of 11 billion annually. <laughs> Of course, I would never have picked bananas. <laughs> this man is a doctor. It's women's health care. He deals in women's problems. Women you need to know now. That's just not the best name for a doctor. It's Dr. Chick. 
I'm a chick doctor. <laughs> Hey, baby, how would you like to have your gynecologist named Dr. Chick? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Kev, I am not a good speller. You know that. I'm a little dyslexic. Right. So what I need, I call my wife, and honey, do I spell, did I spell this right? If I put an ad in the paper, I wouldn't spell it this way. Pick neck table for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Or, pink gladiola bouquet. <laughs> Kev, I'm gonna show you a woman with a nice set of knees. Nice set of knees? This woman has got a great set of knees. Take a look. <laughs> They're her knees. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Part-time receptionist. If you have a pleasant personality, type 50, 60 words per minute and enjoy porking with people. <laughs> Lease the new 2009 Toyota Corolla STD. <laughs> Includes chlamydia, everything. It's all in here. Okay. Uh, what is this one? Hey, I never heard of this kind of dog. Jack Russell terrorist puppies. <laughs> I got a Jack Russell terrorist. Kroger, eye of round roast, whole or bonerless? <laughs> See, I would want... I would want my roast to be bonerless. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit, sit down to dinner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mom, take it away! <laughs> Okay. How old are we? Five years old here? Okay. One more. Okay. Let's see. Here's, here's this. I'm a runner. Interview with Elliot Spitzer, governor of New York. With the campaign, Spitzer's running for New York governor. My days are longer. I still have to run. My wife doesn't mind when I slip out at 5 a.m. She just asks that I don't turn on the lights. Yeah, I don't doubt it. All right. One last quick one. Here you go. It's a digital bitchin' timer. Yeah! Here you go. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Jackson County has its first ever code of ethics. Does not apply to elected officials. <laughs> yeah, why would we need to? Thanksgiving, what are you most grateful for? Here's Dave Lamar. Uh, my health. <coughs> <coughs> my health. <coughs> I love it. Here are first grade Americans. Aileen Hightower's first grade class at Knob Hill performed a short recital called America before and after Friday's Good Citizen Assembly. The program honored early American settlers and the Indians that beheaded them. <laughs> okay. Anybody live on a cul-de-sac? You know how to spell it, don't you? <laughs> cul-de-sac sale. <laughs> All right, then. Never been married? Somebody selling a Wheaton dress. <laughs> you know, I'm guessing I would call this number it's going to ring in the trailer. I don't know why. <laughs> Fire destroys crematorium. No human remains were inside. Well, thank God. Imagine what would happened to those human remains if that fire... <laughs> you know, Kev, I thought I knew all the cars. You know, I'm a car guy, but all there's right. so many models, and here's a 2008 Chevy Trailbalzer. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Now, who can anybody collect African art? That's very popular now. Beautiful, uncommon African fossil dish, 550 million years old, $45. $45. Wow. Get down on the ground floor. 550 million years, that's 45 bucks. It was 50. You know, even though there are a lot of foreclosures, houses are still expensive. Look at this. Unparalleled indoor and outdoor space. 
$675,000. Beautiful home there, isn't it? Lovely, lovely home. Oh, it's a lovely house. Yeah. Norway, Norsemen to meet. Sons of Norway, Norsemen Harbor Lodge will announce they will hold their meeting. The men of Norway, I like the last line, bring an Italian dish. Yeah, because you know, you're not eating any more of that crappy loot fish, yeah. <laughs> bring something Italian. We love, the, uh, we love the Vikings, but the food, I'm sorry. Asian massage. Asian massage, free table shower. Look where they're located. Look, it's inside the Arco gas station. Well, that's a, gee, I, gee, I wonder how that massage ends, huh? Gee, this doesn't sound good. 10th annual Southeastern Guide Dog Barbecue. Wow. There you go. Wow, barbecue and guide dogs. That seems bad. Oh, look at this. Women, come on down. Free mammograms at the Chevron station. Yeah, come on down. All right, Missy, you, you get up on the rack. Your husband's in back getting a massage. What? Free mammograms at the Chevron station. Clem, come give this gal a mammogram. Why did you, why did you go there? Uh. And the winner is Canton High School senior Autumn Underwood and her self-designed t-shirt won in a costume contest inspired by the recent national release of the film Twilight. Yeah, too bad Autumn can't spell it, huh? It's high week. Come on, she's only a senior. Oh, uh, in the life goes on department, a woman called the sheriff's department, 10.30 a.m., Monday, the reporter, soon to be ex husband, told her to just die when she asked what she could do to make things easier for him. <laughs> that was a lovely Thanksgiving, huh? Why don't you go to Chevron Station, get a mammogram? <laughs> Thanksgiving special menu seafood, Alfredo, stuffed cod. I like to listen. Cornbread suffering. Oh boy, this is, what's, what is that like? Seafood soups and stews are a great way for a fall wine up. Oh, a fall, fall warm up, excuse me. Oh, fresh sucked oysters. What is that? What is that, just a shell, pretty much? <laughs> well, this is the women. Uh, if, you, if you want to know what your love life is going to be like. I mean, you consult the, the astrological charts, right? Okay. Well, look, this paper will do your horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... Yes. You're having sex with many men, yes. I'm doing your horoscope. I love this. $158,000, two-bedroom, two-bathroom house in Castaic Lake, California. Beautiful view of the hills. Guy took the picture like an hour before the house burned down. <laughs> Quick, sell it now! This it says it's time to celebrate Canadians. So we have some Canadians here tonight. So at least that's the opinion of Time Magazine, which included four Canucks in its special Time 100. See, we tend to overlook our neighbors. They're wonderful people, the Canadians. Uh -huh. And look, this ad features, story features one of the most famous Canadians of all time, Osama Bin Laden. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is what it says. Oh, I like this one. Okay, you know how the purity rings, a lot of the kids are wearing them now? Oh, yeah. Sure, you're going to remain chaste, whatever. Uh, <laughs> young lady. That says, uh... This, this girl says, well, I respect people who wear them. It's simply not my cup of tea, said the homeschooled 15-year-old. I've already lost my virginity, and I'll probably lose it again before marriage. <laughs> Here's Concord High School menu. Remember, kids, September is baby penis mouth. I don't know what that means. No, just, just tell me what it said. Here's Rebecca's lingerie, gifts for men. 
Silk boxers, silk robes, silk G-strings, silk pajamas. I like the last one. And be sure to see our Nutcracker shorts. You know, I'm... Thank you, I'm not interested. They have a headline.